welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on today's video I have a meal prep for you and let me just tell you that last week I did not meal prep because I wanted to take part in a use it up challenge which I'm also doing again this week my meal prep this week though is all revolved around what I have on hand I missed it last week it was so weird not meal prepping on Sunday but I'm glad that I did that because again I used up a lot of what I had on hand and was able to form this week's three recipes around what I have in my fridge freezer and pantry and a few grocery items that I picked up in Saturday's grocery haul so if you haven't seen that check it out also if you're new stick around subscribe hit the little bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded I do a meal prep every single Monday so you don't want to miss out make sure you thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and check out that description box down below you're going to find my website where I will show all three of these recipes you're able to print that off and use it to recreate them as well as links and discount codes to my favorite things in fact a lot of the items that I shared with you today are linked down below and lastly in the description box is the link to head over and join my Facebook group we'd love to have you join our community over there we are over 16,000 strong and it's just a great supportive place to be so head on over and join us there so my friends let's get into this week's WW meal prep this week I'm making an andouille sausage breakfast casserole if you did not see my grocery haul that was posted on Saturday I'll link that down below for you guys but I am in the midst of a two-week use it up challenge and I have an entire package of andouille sausage from Costco that I'm trying to use up so you're gonna see that in both breakfast and lunches recipe which is great you buy one product you use it for two meals so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that so let's take a look at what's in this week's breakfast. First, you're going to need some shredded hash brown potatoes, Trader Joe's light Mexican blend or any type of light three cheese blend, mozzarella cheese. This is the sausage that I'm using. Again, I have this whole big pack from Costco. This is the Amy Lou and Dooley sausage. These are three smart points per link. They're huge. They have perfect ingredients so I'm excited I haven't even opened this up yet so we're going to be using this again for breakfast and for lunch you're also going to need some garlic powder some salt and pepper I am subbing zucchini in place of one of the other items oh mushrooms in the recipe because I don't have any mushrooms but I had zucchini on hand and again hashtag use it up challenge so we're going to use that I have this onion left I'm going to use the rest of that and then of course you're going to need some eggs so Let's make breakfast, my friends. So the first thing we need to do is a lot of chopping. I'm going to dice up the onion, the zucchini, and four of the andouille sausages. They're just going to go in my mixing bowl here. Everything actually goes in here to be combined. So let's chop. Once the sausage, onion, and zucchini is all chopped up, this already looks so good, we are going to add an entire bag of shredded hash browns. You can also use tater tots. The original recipe actually calls for tater tots, but I would highly recommend recalculating the points if you do opt for tater tots, just because they are a lot more calorie dense than shredded hash browns and point dense. So make sure you recalculate the recipe if you do opt to go the tater tot route, but I'm gonna use 30 two ounces or an entire bag of shredded hash browns I'm just going to give this a preliminary mix it doesn't have to be perfect but I do want to make sure the onion and the zucchini and sausage get kind of mixed together with the hash browns last step before we do the eggs is we're going to add in one cup of light shredded cheese and half of a cup of mozzarella cheese and again we're just going to give that a quick stir we are going to mix together our eggs in a separate bowl and add it 
to the pan. So we want to make sure that this mix is pretty well combined before this goes into the baking dish. So I have my oven preheating to 350. I have a nine by 13 baking dish. I am going to spray it really well with some nonstick cooking spray. We don't want anything to stick. And then we are going to take this whole mixture of the hash browns, veggies, sausage, and cheese, and we are actually going to put this into the baking dish. Spread it out as even as you can in the bottom of the baking dish. Next, I'm using the same bowl that I used for the hash brown mix. I just rinsed it out. And I'm going to crack eight eggs into the bowl, add some seasoning, whisk it up, and it's going to go right on top of the hash brown mix. Once you add eight eggs to your bowl, we're going to go ahead and season with some garlic powder. And I would say to taste, I'm going to add quite a bit because, again, I like my food very seasoned. We're also going to pop in some pepper and some salt. And then we're going to whisk this all together. I'm going to whisk really really well and i forgot to tell you guys you also are going to need some almond milk i didn't show you that in the beginning so here i have two cups of almond milk you can also use regular milk but again just make sure you're recalculating if you go that route because regular milk has more calories and points than almond milk so i have two cups i'm going to go ahead and add that and then give it another whisk and this is the egg mixture that we're going to pour right over the top of the potatoes Here it is, it looks so good, you guys, this is heavy. <laughs> this is going in the oven at 350 degrees for about 60 minutes or until our eggs are cooked completely through. I can't wait for breakfast. What a hearty protein packed breakfast. So let's get this in the oven. Look at this breakfast casserole. You guys, my house smells so good. I will tell you this took almost an hour and a half to bake all the way through. I wanted to make sure when I touched it that it wasn't eggy. I want the egg to be cooked all the way through, but doesn't this look so good? The sausage got kind of crispy. So I'm gonna let this rest for a few minutes and then we'll slice it into eight servings, pop it in the meal prep container with some fruit, and I'll be back to show you breakfast, give you points and calories. So here is breakfast. This looks amazing. I cut it into eight equal servings. So it is a good size serving. It actually fills the entire large compartment here of my meal prep containers. I do get a lot of questions about all of the containers that I use. I will link them down below for you guys. So I love them. I got them on Amazon. I've had them for a good couple of years. I just throw them in the dishwasher and they've lasted this long. So one eighth of the casserole each day. And I just have a bag of fresh blueberries here. So for the casserole, cut into eight servings, it is six points on the blue plan, eight points on green because you do have to account for the eggs, but only three points on purple because you don't have to count for the hash browns. And it is 274 calories per serving. This looks delicious. I can't wait to dig into this every day this week. For lunch this week, I'm making andouille sausage dirty rice. Again, we're using up the sausage. So after making my lunch, I've used half of that Costco size packet. So that's amazing. We can have it for dinner one night. I may make a jambalaya down the road, but so far so good on this using it up of the sausage. So let me show you what's in our dirty rice. I'm going to be using the frozen Trader Joe's organic rice because it's easy. If you want to make rice from scratch, the original recipe will be linked on my website, which is down in the description box, but I'm making my life easy and going with this throw it in the microwave for three minutes, perfectly cooked rice every time, make my life easy. We're also going to need some oil, avocado, olive, whatever you have on hand, minced garlic, I have some fresh parsley. You could probably use dried parsley, but I have this on hand, so I'm going to use it. A green bell pepper, an onion, some celery hearts, and then of course, the andouille sausage. So 
Let's get started on lunch. So the first thing we need to do again is lots of chopping. So I have a pretty good sized bowl here. Everything is going in this bowl except the parsley. And I do have a small bowl here to put the parsley in. So bell pepper, celery, onion, sausage in the large bowl, parsley in the small bowl. here I have one tablespoon of avocado oil warming up and to that I'm going to add the sausage bell pepper onion mixture to that we're gonna let that saute down just until everything is cooked through and while that is cooking up in the pan I'm going to pop two bags of that organic jasmine rice into the microwave I'm going to weigh out the cooked rice I want a total of two cups cooked so I'm guessing I'm gonna have some extra which is fine because we actually need rice for dinner tonight too. So I'm gonna get those in the microwave. This is warming up and we'll add in the sausage, bell pepper, and onion. As my sausage, onions, and peppers are cooking, I went ahead and added just a big scoopful of minced onion. These are just about cooked through. I have one bag of rice. I'm just letting it cool. We'll measure it out into two cups total. And then we'll be ready to put this dirty rice together. It's a pretty simple recipe. All right, here is the sausage bell pepper onion mixture. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. And then this is the two bags of the Trader Joe's rice. So what I'm going to do is add everything to the large bowl. I have a one cup measuring cup here. I am going to put in one cup of rice i want two cups total for the recipe and like i said whatever rice is left over we'll go ahead and keep it for tonight's dinner because we are doing a shrimp and rice dinner so there's one cup of rice and i know that that pack the frozen pack it says that the three bags make six servings so i know that this is going to be a little bit over two cups of rice maybe more like three cups of rice so cup number two, and then we still have all of this rice left. So I would say, yeah, it's probably pretty close to maybe even over another cup of rice. So be careful when you're using those packets, make sure you measure it out. And then we'll go ahead and mix this together. So that is two cups of cooked rice with the sausage, bell pepper, onion mixture and that's pretty much it you guys it's that simple you could add some additional seasonings if you would like i think i am going to add one of my favorite kind of seasonings that gives me that whole like cajun vibe so let me add a little bit of that i'll grab it and add it here to our dirty rice so I'm going to add some of the Dax Original Red. This has a little bit of a kick. So for me, a little goes a long way because I don't like my food really spicy. So I am gonna go ahead and add some of this to my rice. Dax is a clean seasoning with no MSG and no salt, but tons and tons and tons of flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that. I do have 10% off for Dax. I'll put that link down below and my code here on the screen. I am also going to add a little bit of salt because I did not use broth to make the rice. So we are gonna add a little bit of salt as well. So this recipe makes a total of four servings. So I am just going to scoop the rice into my meal prep bowls one scoop at a time until my bowls are filled evenly and that's going to be my serving of rice we're going to top it with a little bit of fresh parsley and it will be ready to go for meal prep so i'll be back to show you my completed lunch meal prep and give you points and calories look at how good this looks you guys i can't wait i am like a sausage lover this week in my meal prep but this looks amazing so again it made four servings it is only five smart points on all plans including the rice 
and the sausage. Now, if you are on the purple plan, if you sub out a zero point rice, so a brown rice, you can knock this down to three smart points per serving, which is crazy. It is 230 calories. I'll probably pair this with some fruit, maybe a sweet treat. I may have some chips or some veggies and hummus, but this is the main portion of my lunch. Five smart points, 230 calories of deliciousness. For a sweet treat this week, I've been craving peanut butter cups and Reese's are not in my, my points budget or my calorie budget. So I'm making a healthy, crispy peanut butter cup with five ingredients. Super, super easy. The recipe makes mini peanut butter cups. I'm making full size, my friends. We're gonna do full size peanut butter cups, but of course, the original recipe will be linked on my website if you do want to make mini versions. They will be less points, of course, but you know what? The bigger, the better. So let's look at what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some coconut flour maple syrup both of these items came from the thrive market there's a link down below for thrive where you actually get a free gift up to 22 dollars value when you join the thrive market you guys know i love the thrive i buy from there all the time they are 30 percent less expensive than the grocery store and they have thousands of items that you can't find locally so it just makes it really easy they ship free to your doorstep Check out Thrive down below, highly recommend. And then I'm going to use the Kirkland Mixed Nut Butter. I wanna use this up and there is hardly any left in here. You'll need a Lily's Dark Chocolate Baking Bar. I did buy this off of Thrive as well. So you'll pick any type of baking chocolate from Lily's. Make sure you, you do Lily's because it is sweetened. Don't get the baker's unsweetened one because your recipe won't be very sweet that way. And then you can use any cereal. I'm gonna be using these Nature's Path Organic Rice Puffs for the crispy portion of my peanut butter cups because I have them on hand. So let's make dessert. All right, so let's get started. So on my food scale here, you can see that I weighed out 180 grams of peanut butter. I ended up running out of the mixed nut butter. So this on top is the cashew butter from Trader Joe's, same points and everything. So to my peanut butter, actually let's pull my scale out. I will also link my scale down below. I get lots of questions. I love this scale and it's less than $20. So into the peanut butter here, I have coconut flour. I'm going to add one tablespoon, a tablespoon here of coconut flour so there's that and then we're also going to add one tablespoon of the maple syrup so i'm just going to use that same one make sure you do the flour before the syrup so you're not dipping the syrup spoon into your flour and then we are going to just mix this together until fully combined so here is the peanut butter mixture also a little bit of a pro tip, have your peanut butter at room temperature. It definitely combines better. I had to pop mine in the microwave for about 10 seconds in order to get it a little softened to mix in that coconut flour and the honey. Next, I have kind of a medium sized bowl. I am going to put my entire block, which is eight ounces of the Lily's chocolate into my bowl here and then we are going to put this into the microwave until it is melted you do want to stir this about every 30 seconds so your chocolate doesn't seize once your chocolate is melted oh that looks so good we are going to stir in one half of a cup of crispy cereal now you could use rice crispy treats you could use really anything not rice crispy treats rice krispies but this is the cereal i had on hand so i decided to go ahead and use it so give that a stir get it nice and mixed together so i'm going to be using a full size muffin tin you could also use a peanut butter cup mold whatever you have and we are going to divide this chocolate mixture out into our 12 molds here. And we want to make sure that we basically have at least the bottom of a peanut butter cup per mold. We probably should have used two Lily's bars, but I wanted to try to keep the points reasonable by using just the one Lily's bar. So we're going to go ahead and do our best to get a decent amount into all 12 of our little muffin cups here. Looks like we may only make 10. So 
I'll make sure that I give you the points for 10. Maybe you can make more, or again, you could use the original recipe and go with the mini cups, but I'm okay with this. I'm okay with 10. So I'll get this in here. We're gonna get this spread out even into the bottom of the muffin tin. So I'm just gonna use the back of my spoon to kind of spread it out and make a base. Now it's not going to be a cup shape like a Reese's peanut butter cup would be unless you used a smaller muffin pan, but I'm okay. We're just gonna make like a peanut butter cup with a chocolate cereal bottom. So here are the 10 kind of chocolate bottoms of our peanut butter cups. I'm going to pop this in the freezer for about 10 minutes. So our chocolate is nice and hardened. Oh, this looks so delicious. So the next step is we are going to add the peanut butter. Now the original recipe, they actually add chocolate again to the top. We're making it a our own recipe. We're doing it our own way. So I'm going to go ahead and put about a tablespoon of the peanut butter mixture on top of each of the chocolate bases. We'll see exactly how much we need at the end, but I want to make sure that I have enough of the peanut butter mixture to do all 10 cups. And then we'll do the same thing, kind of flatten it out with our spoon. So I'm going to, I know we're changing it up. I told you we're making this our own. I'm going to take these Lily chocolate chips and I'm just going to pop like five little mini chocolate chips right on top. It's going to be zero extra points, but because we don't have a top, a chocolate top, I think this is just going to add kind of a cute little extra bit of chocolate to our peanut butter cups. And then I'm going to pop these back into the freezer for about another 10 minutes or so. We wanna make sure that the peanut butter gets hardened so that we actually have, you know, like a hardened peanut butter cup. So I'll be back in a flash to show you guys our completed dessert. So here they are. These look so good. Super simple. We're just going to pop them out of the cupcake molds. And look, there is the chocolate bottom. So it is solid like you would see in like a peanut butter cup. And then you have the peanut butter top with the chocolate chip. So these are definitely good sized. My plan was to store them in a storage container and then I would just take one out every time I wanted to eat one. And I will most likely put a piece of parchment or you could do wax paper in between the layers so that they don't stick together. But these look incredible. So I'm gonna pop them all out, get them here into the storage container, and I'll be back to show you the final product and give you points and calories. So here are the completed crispy peanut butter cups. You guys, these look so good. And these are big. They are a full size muffin size. You have chocolate, peanut butter, chocolate chips, and we used real peanut butter, real maple syrup, and get this, you guys, for 10 cups. 115 calories a piece and only five smart points. You're getting protein, you're getting a high quality, healthy, clean eating treat for five points. Now, if you were able to get 12 of the full size peanut butter cups out of your mix, they would actually only be four points. You would end up saving a point. I'm a okay with five points because they're filling and satisfying and clean. So yum. Cannot wait to snack on these this next week. Thank you for joining me on this week's meal prep. It feels so good to be back in the meal prep saddle. I am so excited about breakfast, lunch, and hello, chocolate peanut butter cups that are clean and WW friendly. Yes, please. I can't wait for this week's breakfast, lunch, and snacks. Again, all of these recipes are on my website. That is linked down below in the description box, along with the links and discount codes to all my favorite things, including some items that I shared with you today and the link to head over and join me over on Facebook. We'd love to have you join us over there. If you're new, make sure you're subscribed and that your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. We meal prep every Monday, so don't miss out. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, leave your comments down below with the hashtag use it up challenge if you are here for that. And also let me know what you thought of this week's recipes. Happy Monday friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. I love you, 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 I love you.